Hello, full stack web developer, and welcome to Coding for All, the only channel required to become a full stack web developer with practical applications and utilizing free resources. So, we started our journey from our own CV that was hosted online. This is the one. Then, we made a website and hosted that for free. And that's the one. Now, you must be following my new playlist about web designing. And this will be the last video with respect to that. Video we will implement all the strategies learned in the new playlist of web design. I will create a website with you using all free resources and will implement all the lessons learned from the past videos. If you haven't viewed those videos, feel free to view them at least once and then return back to this video to implement all those concepts successfully but first i would like to tell you that there are a few places where you can test yourself by implementing techniques learned like daily ui where you can sign up for free and become a part of this community to implement and improve your ui muscles now coming back to our task for this reason go to canva and select a customized size of 1400 by 1800 and then you can use it from here or you can simply go here as we will use this as our benchmark so why don't we copy the same things here for this reason select any background color by going to color hunt as we discussed in color theory and then paste its code to have the similar color so we are going to reach code color or code hunt i will be using this side as that i made as my benchmark or to which i will get the guidance and you can use any two but in order to select the color i would suggest that you go to color hunt as we discussed in color theory so i have selected this dark pattern you can select any or you can just copy what i'm doing for the first time practice now in order to copy the same color just scroll down or you can simply click from here it's copied and then you may go to background color and simply paste it here enter so the color is here after that, that you can see that the code is here after that select a font family after going to this text and selecting heading as soon as it appears now you will select a font family such as i have selected jira sc so i have selected this as it will make your brand as settled and authoritative like we discussed in typography so we can write same here uh, Coding. and now we can increase its size and spacing and change its color to create hierarchy and importance in the text so as we discussed in UI and UX that it will lead the user to see what you want them to see and focus what is more important to you with respect to the view and viewer so we can increase its size right. we can make Okay, fine. Increase spacing too. And for color, simply go here. And then we will copy this color. Okay. 
we can change the color or we can just go with it so we can see what is become coder in a month okay so for this thing we need to have a subheading become coder a month so we'll change again the font family to regular And we will change its color to so as you can see a brighter version of what we did with the heading. To reduce the alignment, I will align all the elements to the left. So as we studied in UI video that it will make our site more appearing to the eye so we make a subheading with different size and spacing but similar in font family so we will create monochromatic in type and size but contrast in colors as we discussed but this also in ui video and we can add a picture so it may be more appealing to the user for this reason as i've already uploaded picture so i can go to uploads And I can select the image. Now here we are. And I don't know if you have noticed or not, but I have tried to follow a reading pattern. Before I answer this, I would like you to answer what type of reading pattern do you think I am using here? In case you are not familiar to the reading pattern that I have discussed previously, I would strongly recommend you to view my last video of UX design and then try to answer this question. And I will tell my answer at the end of this video. Until then, write your answer below and wait for the correct answer. While you are writing an answer below, why don't you hit the like button and smash the subscribe button as it will hardly take 5 seconds. No effort, nothing to lose, but everything to gain for you as well as for me. So I'll be waiting for 5 seconds and we'll be right back. Now we will create a registration button and it will be distinctive as we noticed in UI design and for this reason you can go here or you can simply press go over the buttons now we can go to text Okay, so this is the color of the button and this is color here. I have copied it. So all this. And for here, we can change color this text. So 
Oh, I can choose a color to a darker one. And from here, switch. Things like this. I can reduce the size. And I can move this to the center position. Reduce the alignment points so that it may be much more better. Increase the spacing. Here we are. Now add a new page from here with the same background to continue the consistency of our website and here we will add the services along with the pictures to facilitate our users so they get maximum output from the least expenditure of time. For example, I have selected three services that I will provide on my site. The services are free videos. For this reason, we use the images here. Okay, now all I can see here. Oh, I haven't uploaded it yet. Just size accordingly. One is free video, then tests and applications in order to have the same size. You can just place it here. And the third is 24 by 7 community support and for this I'll use this one so we can crop the image No, we will write the titles here. So, three videos similar as we did before. left alignment is then again is and we will place them as Applications twenty four by seven support. So here they are, and in order to have some subtext here, we can use Lord and Epson.
control C. Let's select body text and paste it. Reduce the size. And as we discussed, we will make it minimum so that it may be user friendly. We can simply copy and paste the same and we can align all this to the left as we discussed before to reduce the alignment points and to make our site much more appealing to the eye and for making it much more distinctive we can add frames and for this reason we can use a circle For this, we must change the color so that it may be more appealing to the eye. I think that's better. You can use thing you want, be you want, but this is how I think it's looking better. Now here it is, very nice, we are done with our services play page. And what you can do, you can write here, services, and on the first page you can write home. I will tell you it will help you in the future and now again you will add a new page with the same background and this will be contact us if you want to select any picture like I'm going to do so you can do that and for this reason I will use the image that I have over oh I've used previously and it's this one. And simply enlarge this image or anything that you want. And then in order to make it much more distinctive, I will use another shape such as this one. I will change the color to make it much more distinctive. Here we go. I will use the text here. Subreading, I will use email address. Same as we did before. I can see the size. What is the text size here? 32. Let me see. If it goes here, you can reduce the size up to 30. We will increase this size. Okay. I don't know why, but I think it's better. And similar will be the case here. Left alignment. We can even reduce to adjust according to the frame size. Like here we are. And we can move this inside. We can move it like this, then we can increase its size, distance, 
and as we did for before, you can use similar colors here. And this one, they're looking better, Lord, or something similar. No, it was a bit light, so you can use the light color as the one, and we can simply copy this. The scale strip blue for the number. Number and then we can use something like subheading here and write A B C at the rate of A B C dot com and I will put user size like we did here it's twenty two so we can make it twenty two or 20 it is copy I can paste it here and then can write one two three four five six seven that's the golden number object number oh but I forget one thing I haven't added my heading. So how will the one get to know it? I will add a heading here. And it will have the same colors. Come on. Contact us. And I will have this something similar like that. So I've said it's bold and a bit spacing. Or we can move here to our Okay, yes, that's nice. Okay, now we need to use hierarchy in here. So for this reason, control B, here we are. And we can make it, oh no, we can just make it. So it's central line. I can increase the size. Let's see how it will look. Very nice. So I'm going to change its color a bit lighter tone. That's all just been a bit broke. Okay, we can move here. this one a bit down. So that's the one that we were looking for. Now why don't we see that how is this looking? We can simply use more and then we can see for more website here and then open. Loading, loading, loading. Perfect. 
what a beautiful sight that we have made. Not at all. It's not at all bad. Very nice for us. So that's all for this video. We have used all the previously learned concepts of web design in this video and we have created a beautiful website. I will share the link of this site in the box below so you may feel free to save. And I will encourage all of you to share to do that too. Share the link of the site that you have made so we have many ideas and great knowledge which we may implement for our designing. And you can use this skill to show your web designing skill and utilize them to earn money too. Practice it and you will gain speed, efficiency and consequently expertise. Now is the time to answer the question that I have asked previously. That was which reading pattern do you think I have used? So the answer is that I have used F pattern. Yes, I have used F pattern. If your answer was correct in the comment section below, I will congratulate you. And in case if it wasn't, then I would strongly say you to follow this playlist so you may gain expertise in web designing just in 4 videos and it will hardly take 30 minutes. This was all for the web design and it included no coding. But next time we will be working with JavaScript and I'm thinking of a video where I tell the uses and benefits of JavaScript. If you want to see that, like and subscribe the channel and write JavaScript in the comment section below. So see you next week. Until then, learn by implementing and grow. Take care. Bye. Good luck full stack web developer.